Hello, in today's video I will be talking about setting up your Rainbird timer slash controller. This is SST600IN and this one can control six zones. I only have three zones because I have a small backyard, but if you have six zones this will be enough for your needs. Now, first when you get one of these and when you install it you have to set up the time and date. So what you do is turn the dialer here and you set up your time. Now this one is not right so I'm going, I have to fix it anyway so I'm just gonna go to 326 and this is all we have to do. Now you can go here and set up your date since mine is correct I'm not gonna do anything but basically you just use the up and down arrows and that will help you set up the date and the time. Now, when you are setting up your zones, you would turn your dial to zone. Before we do all this, I'm gonna tell you what I'm going to do in this video. I will explain to you how to use the zones manually, how to set up the zones to run on certain days of the week or and certain times, and I will also explain how to delete a schedule for a zone because sometimes you will have two schedules a day or three schedules or four schedules a day and it's somewhat complicated to delete a schedule on this controller but once you figure it out it's really easy and I'll show you how to do it in a minute. Now first if you want to use a zone manually all you do is uh, turn the dialer to the desired zone and then press this button here that will, it says here water one zone now. So this will go for 20 minutes. When you press it, it will water the zone for 20 minutes. If you want to water all zones now, you turn the dialer to other run and then press this button here, water all zones now. And it will go in order. It will water zone one. And then when it's done with that one, I think it's set for 10 minutes, but I'm not sure. But either way, you'll see once you start watering, it will show you here on the dialer, it will count down the time here on the display actually. And you will know how long it will do uh, one zone and then once it goes to the next zone it will start another countdown timer for that next zone. So the way you set up your zones is really easy. You start from zone 1 and I have it here set up to 8 p.m. Best time to water your lawn is in the morning, early in the morning, but for now I have set it up this way so I can watch it in the beginning since I just installed the sprinklers and I want to see if there are any issues and once everything checks out I will switch to uh, probably around 6 a.m. So if you want to uh, start at 6 a.m. in the morning you just hold this button up, or, uh, up arrow or down arrow and then you go to 6 a.m. And here on this side, you set up the desired time, how long you would like that zone to water. So if you want to go 15 minutes, you just go to 15 minutes. So this is all set up, there is no save button. It's set up, once you turn this uh, dialer, it will be set up. So if you go to the next zone, now this zone will start at 6 a.m. and it will finish in, uh, in 15 minutes and that is 6.15 a.m. This zone will finish at 6.15 a.m. So you want the next zone to start at 6.15. If you do it, if you set it up to start at 6.14, it will not stop until the first zone is finished. So you go here and set this one up to 6.15. And let's say you want this zone to water for 20 minutes. You just leave it like this, or you can change it. 
and this zone will start at 615 it will finish at 635 so if you, the next zone zone 3 if you have one should start at 635 or you can even set it to 640 but you cannot set it to uh, a time before 635 otherwise it will not start until the previous zone is finished so let's say you want this one to water for uh, 12 minutes and this is all you have to do so now let's check it out so you have zone one starts at 6 and it will finish in six, at 6 at 15 because it uh, it will uh, go for 15 minutes zone 2 will start at 6 15 it will go for 20 minutes and zone 3 will start at 6 35 it will go for 12 minutes and then after that everything is gonna stop by itself once this is done you turn this dial to other run right here and that means that um, the timer will activate the zones at your desired time and it even says it's here it shows that next watering is due at 6 a.m. now how do I set up a second schedule so if you want to have a second schedule for zone 1 you just press one of these button here second time so now it's off and let's say you want to water this zone um, in the evening hours let's say at um, um, 7 p.m. so you just do it right here go to 7 p.m. and you want to water it for 20 minutes and that's it so zone 1 is still uh, the, uh, the uh, schedule 1 is still here 6 a.m. for 20 minutes and the second schedule for zone 1 will be at 7 p.m. for 20 minutes and that's each day because we have selected all of these days if you want to um, remove a day uh, you want to uh, do a second schedule for zone 1 every other day so all you have to do is uh, turn off the dates you don't want the schedule to go on if you want all days you just go back and do it like this and the same thing you go you do at zone 2 um, you set up the second time the second schedule to desired time let's say 12 15 after midnight and this is set you want zone 2 to have three schedules a day you go here and then set it up to your desired time it's that easy and all these uh, schedules are saved by itself right now you don't have to press the save button zone 2 we have first time second time and uh, third time so after you're done here you go to other run and this will start whenever you schedule it to start so how do I delete a schedule that's very uh, I'm not gonna say it's tricky it's easy it's simple but it's hard it's easy to miss as well so we have the first schedule right here and we go to uh, schedule we want to delete in this case we want to delete the schedule the second schedule in zone one so all we have to do is go to midnight So press the up button, up arrow, go to midnight. Once this is at 11.55, you press it one more time and it's off. So the second schedule is off, the first schedule is still here. Now we want to delete the second schedule for the zone 2, we do the same thing go to midnight and it's off 
I mean the same thing for the third time that's already deleted. So we have a uh, zone one is uh, one schedule, no more schedules. Zone two is also one schedule, no more other schedules. And zone three is only one schedule. And now uh, all I have to go is change this to my regular schedule. So this is pretty easy. Uh, you have you have a seasonal adjust here. I'm not gonna go into that right now because I'm not using it. But you can uh, adjust it uh, do um, by your season um, if you want to go up or down on your uh, watering levels too. And then you have um, if you have a rain sensor, you can use the rain delay option here. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to uh, 1,000 subscribers.